All right, today we're gonna to do a from scratch video on how to launch a VPS on the threefold network. This is just like something you would do on Vulture, Linode, or AWS, but on the decentralized uh, data center. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to download the Threefold Connect app, either on your Android or Apple phone or tablet. This is so that you have the Threefold wallet. There are, of course, other ways to do this, but this is gonna get you up and rolling in just a few minutes. Now, to operate on the Threefold network, you're gonna need the native token TFT. The easiest way to get it is gonna be through the homepage on the upper right-hand corner. There's that get TFT link. There are other ways to get this, such as um, PancakeSwap on the Binance Smart Chain, but that requires a bridge to get it over to the Stellar network and the TF Chain network where we're gonna actually be using this. I'll include the link to that bridge below. Now here in that Get TFT portal, you are going to need that app installed because when you click on login via Threefold Connect, you will type in your username and then you go into your app and you verify that you just tried to log in. Yeah, so you'll get a emoji pop up and you will click that on your app to prove that you are the person trying to sign in. So you notice the rate here is a little higher than the uh, Binance uh, pancake swap chain, and that's just kind of the cost of convenience here. Um, you can buy it in uh, Bitcoin, USD, or Euros, and it'll come um, on the Stellar chain directly to your wallet um, reasonably fast. So now we'll head over to the portal.grid.tf, newly rebranded as the threefold dashboard. And to use this, we're gonna have to download the Polkadot extension for the browser. That's a very common um, account manager used on various blockchain related projects. We're in Fire Firefox, we'll just download that. And add it to Firefox. Chances are, if you're here, you probably already have this anyways. But we are gonna probably need to add a new account. All right, now you're gonna need to copy the seed phrase and go ahead and paste this in um, your notebook because we are gonna need it in a minute. Uh, name your account and put a relatively easy to remember password because you will need to use it with some frequency in the dashboard. Go ahead and refresh the dashboard and allow the application access. Cool, there's our account that we just made. Click on that. And once this loads, we're going to accept the cookies and accept the terms and conditions, which is down there at the bottom. Doesn't really look like a button, but it is. Enter your password that you made for that polka dot. And keep this as is. Create your twin. This is sort of like your online account. There's a link there to explain more. Sign the transaction. Creating a twin will take a moment. So now we need to fund our account because you can see it only comes with a tenth of a TFT. Um, go into your account under portal and click on swap. This is gonna be on the Stellar chain, and we'll click Deposit here. Now this is where you need to whip out your um, Android or phone and open up, sorry, your tablet or phone, and um, open it up and click Send Wallet and use the QR code. I'm gonna show a screen capture of that process here without narration. Notice there's a memo text here showing your twin. So when you do scan, um, or we we'll rephrase that. If you have trouble scanning, and a tip on that is not to get too close to the QR code, um, if you have to copy paste in your address, make sure you add, add that memo text or your um, transaction will not wind up where it needs to be. So back in the portal, um, just hit refresh and your fund should pretty much instantly be there. And 
click on your account. And yeah, there, there they are. Um, there's a little bit of a transaction fee, but it's all there. Now the fun begins. We are in the play.grid.tf. This is mainnet. We're going to go to the profile manager in the upper right and create a new profile. To create a new profile, we'll put in a password. This is actually how you associate with the account. So for God's sakes, don't forget your password. Um, under, this is where you're going to enter the seed phrase um, from your Polkadot account. So I had that saved from earlier. Mine has alcohol in it. How fun is that? Paste that in. This is probably the most technical part of this process is generating that public SSH key. I wasn't successfully, I did not successfully get this to work using Putty in Windows. That's probably my shortcoming. Um, so we are actually in Linux right now and I have not had any problem running Linux. So I'm gonna show you how to generate a SSH key in the command line. If you do get this to run in Windows, please let me know. I got a terminal open. Sorry, I did not maximize this. I am dubbing this since I screwed up my audio recording from earlier, so I can't change it. But yeah, just type in SSH key dot uh, dash keygen uh, T flag. This is the uh, protocol, um, a C flag, and then your email. I won't pretend to know why this is how it is. I just know that it works. Uh, take a mental note of that directory where this is being saved in. I'm not going to use a passphrase. And there we are. So now we're going to need to extract our um, public key uh, from this. So we're going to change directory into that directory above. and list there and you'll see the private key to the left and the public key to the right. So we'll open up um, the right one using our built-in um, office, um, not nano because I have trouble uh, copy pasting in there. So the command you want to use is s office and then the name of that file. There it is. Um, just select that and add it to your clipboard. And we'll head back over to the dashboard slash portal, paste that right into there, and activate and save our account. Quick little overview of our brand new play portal here. Uh, we have all these cool things on the left here, virtual machine, Kubernetes, cap rover, um, project management, they even have Mattermost. Mattermost is a lot better than uh, Taiga. Uh, even Presearch, a uh, lot of demand for that. OwnCloud, we even have a partnership with OwnCloud there. So now to how to actually deploy VM. Notice on the top right hand side, my balance isn't showing. We'll hit on that in a second. I don't recommend using these images shown here. Go ahead and click Other. And then we'll head over to hub.grid.tf to select an image that is a little more complete and a little more useful. Go to TF official VMs and copy. Okay, so actually we're going to be using, the next video is going to require Ubuntu 20, which is why we're not using 22 here. So we'll copy that F list and paste it in there. We'll keep our root file the same system. Those are four threads or virtual cores, not actual cores. Eight gigs. So yes, yeah, eight gigs of RAM extremely vital you head over to disks and add one. I kept mine as the default 50 gigs. Um, if you forget to add a disk, you did it wrong. It shouldn't be really possible to do it without that in my opinion at the stage. We want a public IP because this is going to be for a website. This is um, cost a certain amount of TFT per hour more. Now as far as selecting the node, uh, you want to do um, the node selection criteria in the play grid isn't perfect for what I need. So if you're wanting to, for instance, select a node with a public IP, go back to your dashboard and go to nodes and you can actually um, sort by total public IPs there and find what you need. I know what I want. I want um, 1983, which has some available public IPs for me.
And here's the error. Uh, my balance wasn't showing to fix this. Refreshing didn't work. I had to close this tab, go back into the play grid and re-sign in and all was good. There we are. The balance is now showing. I'll just set this up again and hit deploy again. Okay, the starting to deploy, and just like with any VPS service, it takes a couple of minutes while your um, disk is provisioned and the operating system is installed. So I'm gonna cut ahead here just a couple of minutes. Great, uh, when this pops up, you know it, it all went well. There's our public IP, so I'm gonna copy that. Head over to terminal and sshn, just ssh root at the IP. Uh, yes. And that's it, you're in. Um, fully functional Ubuntu server instance. Uh, pro tip here, if you are destroying and redeploying um, several VMs, um, it will freak out on you and think you're having an attack because your server changed. So open up the known host file in your SSH directory. I see there, I did the wrong command. Um, but open up that folder, sorry, open up that file and delete the contents of that and you will able to, you will be able to SSH back into your IP without an error. Um, only worry about this if you're destroying and rebuilding several times, experimenting like I did. Uh, Keep an eye out for another video in a day or two of where I actually use this VM uh, to create a website. Thanks for watching.